Hey everyone, this is Ryan from MultiUnity.com and in this video I'll be doing a review on the Draco Design S3 aluminum bumper for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Alright, so we have one of Draco's S3 aluminum bumpers here to review and this is in the Astro Silver model. There's six other different colors to choose from as well in terms of the S3 bumper line and each unit retails for $89.99. Now, of course, prices will vary depending on where you decide to purchase this case and where it's available. But the retail price is $89.99, and usually wherever you go, that's the price you'll find this case for. And, you know, at first, $89.99 is immediately going to be a turnoff to many people, uh, especially just for a mobile phone case. Now, I like to use this analogy whenever I use or review an expensive product if you're buying a Rolex you know and a luxury watch you know you buy it because the materials and the aesthetics that go into it are much better than a simple standard you know let's say five dollar cheapo watch and you know the function of the watch is pretty much just the same it's just the amount of uh, the price and the quality of the materials that go into it are just more better looking and of much better quality and worth and that's why you buy a Rolex you don't buy it because it serves a different purpose it's they're all just watches and you know they're just a different price because one has you know diamonds or gold and one is just made out of cheap plastic and so you know many people buy a Rolex they don't buy it because it's just a watch they buy it because it looks good and it's a luxury product and so for those people who like and can afford getting a luxury product should definitely check out the Draco S3 aluminum bumper because this is definitely a luxury product you know designed for a niche market because not everyone obviously has 90 bucks to spare on a you know case for their mobile phone like the Galaxy S3 and so you have to take that in mind you know this isn't for everyone not everyone can afford to buy this and I think Drago understands that but there are some people who do not mind and actually wor uh, would consider paying uh, that price for a premium case such as this and this is from what I can tell and my uh, weeks of having used this this is definitely a premium case and I'll tell you guys why in this review so here's the case it's a bumper style case and in terms in terms of bumpers they don't offer the best protection no matter what material they're made out of because simply put your front and back of your device is exposed and no matter how shock uh, resistant or um, you know shock absorbent the material is there's the surface will always always imp uh, make uh, contact with the back or front of your phone depending on you know where it's hit and so keep that in mind this isn't no matter uh, despite you know being made out of aircraft grade aluminum like uh, used in planes or other industries you know aluminum is not you know indestructible and you know it's not going this is not going to protect your phone as well as you know an auto box defender because an auto box defender covers all of your phone but this leaves the front and the uh, back exposed and so in terms of protection you're really not going to get a lot of it here no matter what material uh, this is made out of because it's a bumper style case so please keep that in mind if you're looking for protection you're really not going to get it here uh, I mean you will get some protection I guess on the sides because it covers it but it, uh, for the front and the back you're really not too protected or covered so keep that in mind in terms of protection now I also have the packaging here because it is really good looking and I just thought I'd go over it once again this is the Astro Silver model and on the back here it shows you how to 
uh, mount the case onto your Galaxy S3. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that here in this video. So let's open this up. All right, so we got this out. And inside it, let's see. What you will find is the case in here, and you'll also find two screws. And make sure not to lose these because these are uh, very, very small and they are quite easy to lose. So you get two extra screws. Uh, you need two screws to actually assemble the case and two screws here extra in case you lose any of the stock ones. So that's very nice of Draco to uh, include. And with that, you also get this. And this is a free USB strap cable. And at first, I really didn't know what this was. And I actually had to go back to Draco's website and uh, browse around and figure out what this is. You can buy this separately for $9.99, but I don't know if Draco's doing a promotion. Uh, they don't advertise this on their product page for the S3 bumper, but they're actually including this free according to the packaging on the, uh, f the packaging for the bumper itself. And how this works is you get this lanyard and if you can see the case here, there's two holes where uh, for a lanyard or you can, for this accessory. And all right, we got it out. And this end is a micro USB and and I mean, I guess this could work for any phone with a micro USB connector, but the Galaxy S3 does have one. And if you plug this into your micro USB end, what's neat about this is that, let me just give you guys a quick close up here, is that you can actually pop this off, this cap off, and there's an actual USB cable in there. And it's just one sided, it's not a uh, double like many other USB cables. This is just one single piece and you can plug it in and charge or sync your phone on the go. So, I mean, very convenient. Um, not everyone, of course, will be using this, but hey, it's free and it's included. So that's a pretty cool addition to a case that, you know, I have really never seen before or any other manufacturer uh, do with their cases. Uh, in the packaging, you also get this wrench, and that's used to disassemble the case. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So, two screws, uh, one here at the top of the case. Let me see if you guys can see that. One at the top, and one at the bottom here. And I'm just going to unscrew this. So we got the screws out, the two ones right here. And we'll just put that aside. And uh, let me just show you guys the individual pieces of the aluminum here. Once again, this is aircraft grade aluminum. So very good quality aluminum. Right here, you can see Draco. Draco's logo. Let's see. You can see right there, hopefully. And right here, there's an aluminum button, which just sort of matches the overall aesthetics and theme of this case. So an aluminum button as well. On the inside, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some rubber coating here or lining to prevent uh, scratches of your device inside the case. And it may also help with antenna uh, as well, but I'm not too sure about that. And on the other side as well. And another aluminum button here. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but let's see. It says inspired by Draco Design. There you guys go. So now that we covered the the overall hardware of the bumper. Well, let me show you guys how to install it. And uh, this is very tricky to do on camera, but 
how Draco describes it or wants you to install it is put the aluminum piece with the headphone jack opening and get the other piece and simply just line it up and you just want to hold this in place make sure that the buttons do work it seems that they do and you just want to get the screws you took out just like so and you just want to screw it in also make sure not to over tighten the screw as well and now that I got the top in Let's do the bottom here. All right, so I've finished installing the bottom screw. And let me see, just take a good look at that right there. Hopefully you guys can make it out. Yep, there we go. And as for the top, and you can just see how that lines up. It should just be a flush line. Just like that. And now let's go over all the cutouts. So on the top, you have a single cutout here for your microphone and a very recessed and small opening for a headphone jack. Uh, one thing I would have really liked uh, Drago to include uh, more than you know this USB strap is an actual headphone uh, line-in adapter so that um, because Obviously, not all headphones uh, can fit in this recessed small opening. And so I would have liked Draco to include their own adapter that accommodates their cases and so that you can use your own headphones uh, with an adapter coming out here, designed for this case, and plug, it in, uh, plug your headphones into the adapter. And that would have made uh, using this case much more enjoyable because uh, I have a lot of headphones and... Uh, a lot of them, most of them, actually don't fit in here because it's so small and recessed. And so that's one thing you want to keep in mind if you're, let's say, an audiophile or just a music junkie in general. You will not most likely be able to use your headphones with your phone while in this case. On the back, you can see how that looks. This is the AT&T Galaxy S3, so you can see the AT&T logo, Galaxy S3 right there. Your LED flash camera and speakers and so that's a very big opening and once again in, in terms of protection you're leaving a lot exposed here and and so protection wise here on the back you're pretty uh, exposed and a lot can you know get around here on the front once again wide opening but obviously for the front you just can't help it because a lot is here and you need to use it like the front facing camera, the, the speakerphone here, the big 4.8 inch screen, as well as the home button. So the front, I mean, obviously I don't mind, but the back here is a lot of it ex is exposed. And so that is uh, something to keep in mind if you're very OCD be, uh, about your phone and um, you know cautious about scratches and stuff like that. Once again, we uh, mentioned this aluminum button here for your volume rockers. They're not overly sensitive. They're just about right. And they're very, very clicky. You also have an aluminum button here for your power uh, or power button or on and off switch. And very tactile as well. Feels just like the stock button. So uh, in terms of buttons, those are very well done. Let's take a look here down at the bottom. There's another cutout for your other or secondary microphone and a recessed opening here for your USB, uh, micro USB port. With the stock cable that came included with the Galaxy S3, I didn't have any issues charging the phone or syncing it. But of course, if that is an issue, you always have the USB uh, strap cable here if, uh, for charging your phone. But in terms of docks and cradles and stuff like that, uh, most likely this will not work 
uh, those options will not work with your Galaxy S3 when it's in the Draco S3 bumper. So overall, in terms of accessibility, for the buttons, I give them an A+, because they're very accessible and very tactile. Whereas with the cutouts, like the micro USB charging port, as well as the headphone jack up at the top, those, I don't know if they could have been done better, but um, I mean, they are very uh, inaccessible. And so uh, in terms of that, this case is very poor in that regard. But yeah, so one thing also to mention is that you can see the curves here of the case that make holding this, uh, holding your phone while in the case much more uh, pleasant. It really does look good as well uh, in terms of looking at it. So it's very pleasing to the eye and it just looks good with those curves right here along the edges. And so yeah, overall in terms of aesthetics, I'd give it an A plus because anyone who looks at this can without a doubt say that this just looks gorgeous, sexy, elegant, and it just looks good. Now, another thing about this case is that many people mention or uh, are concerned about antenna issues. Now, I can actually report that I've had no uh, degradation in uh, signal or reception but I live in LA and it's a pretty or I, where I live at least in LA has pretty good coverage most of the time you can see up here at the top I am on 4G LTE and I have four bars so I'm pretty close to full bars and it's always usually been like that actually. I haven't really had any issues with um, signal or reception. So you can see my signal strength there. So I mean it's honestly not too bad. And from other users who have used this case, the most that it really doesn't affect the signal quality too much. Like if it's going to affect the signal reception it really it's very very minuscule and so in terms of the impact or the degree of how well or how much uh, this case impacts your uh, signal or reception it's really very very small and to me uh, my signal or reception has pretty much just stayed constant um, from uh, using this phone naked or with any other case so in that regard I have had no issues and I can honestly say that for most people, that won't be an issue at all. So honestly, I think I covered pretty much everything about this case. And overall, I really do like it. It looks good. Once again, it's a very niche or it's a product in a very niche market. Um, not everyone, once again, can afford to pay $90 for a case for the Galaxy S3. And I understand that. But for those of you who can, this is definitely a great case to look at um, and consider it's high quality protection wise it's not going to be the best solution um, the Autobox Defender at $30 will do a much better job because it covers more but overall if you're a light user who doesn't drop their phone often or not at all this case is great it looks great and it feels great as well um, also, I don't know if you, um, if this will be a cons of concern, but uh, if you lay your phone out uh, while it's charging during the night and you wake up, this case does get cold because it's aluminum, it's metal, and it does get cold. So, if that's something you know of issue to you, uh, keep that in mind as well. But other than that, I can highly recommend this case if. It's a viable option for you in terms of cases for your phone. And overall, I really do like this case. I hope you guys enjoyed this video review. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below wherever you may be watching this from. And I'll see you guys all next time.